If you record with a camera and an external mic, you probably need to sync them up before you can edit. So here's how to take multiple audio and video files and sync them up and recut. So here I've got a file from my Sony camera and I've also got the external mic that I recorded into the computer with Audacity. So I'm gonna drag the video into recut first and then the audio. So you can see recut found all the silent parts, but these files aren't synced up yet. So you can see uh, a couple claps. I clapped a couple times when I started recording this. So you can see the claps in the waveform here and the corresponding ones here, but we just need to line these files up. And so ReCut right now doesn't have any sort of automatic syncing that's on the roadmap, but for now we'll just line them up manually. So to do that, there are two modes in ReCut. There's segments and clips. And segments lets you select the silent parts and the audible parts, and you can do stuff like, you know, delete mistakes and things like that in segments mode. But we need to be in clips mode. So click this in, into clips mode, and then you can drag the files around. So we'll drag this over until these waveforms are close. And then I'll just zoom in with the plus key. You can also use this little slider down here. So once these are pretty good, that looks about lined up. And I'll just listen back and make sure this sounds okay. So we're all synced up. And now you'll probably notice that we've got kind of doubled up silent parts here. So we have silent parts in the video's audio, and we also have silent ones in the external mic. And just so that ReCut doesn't get confused about what to cut, we can ignore all the stuff in the video audio by clicking this little ignore icon here, and that'll just gray out all the silent parts. It doesn't actually mute the audio. You can also do that with the mute button if you want, but this will make it so that when ReCut does its cutting, it's only looking at these ones, these red parts, instead of the ones on this track here. And that's pretty much it. So we've got these files all synced up and now you can go and export them either as a audio or video or as a timeline into another app to do some more editing. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.